Aloha, aloha, folks. Uh, right now, I'm at the cemetery at uh, at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Pahoa, and I just met this really nice gentleman. Uh, he helps take care of the grounds here. And uh, what's your name, please? My name is Alfred McAuliffe. Alfred. Oh, nice I'm to meet you, Alfred. Here. Now, can you just tell me about, I take it you're a Catholic, correct? Correct. And, and what country did you originally come from? I come from the island of Malta, which is 98% Catholic. Oh, wow. Malta is uh, the, actually the, more than the Philippines. So their two countries are about even, uh, being a Catholic. And uh, it's... It's a Christian Catholic church, and they say that you throw a rock in the air, you're going to hit a church. So that's how many churches are in Malta. And well, how long have you been working on the grounds here? Seven years now. Seven years. Yeah. And, and, and this... the person that really takes care of the ground, his name is Victor Bustamante. And he's been doing it since he's 14. And he's 68 years old now, 78 years old right now. I have a question for you. Did, uh, yeah, he's the one that does the cutting. He does all the cleaning up and everything else. Well, that's really nice that you're, you know, you're recognizing yeah. him. How about, uh, did St. Damien ever come to this church at all? St. Damien, this was the first church that he ever came to. Actually, it wasn't this church. It was a different church up the hill near 7-Eleven. Uh, oh, and then they moved In Pahoa. The, yeah, in Pahoa. They moved the church over here and then remodeled it and everything else. But uh, we already built a pedestal for him. He's gonna have a statue that's gonna be made of him. So St. Damien was actually, this is like one of his first uh, places that he came to. There is, I think there was seven churches on the island that he had, you know, established more or less. But this one was the first one. And, and real was, quickly, can you just tell me, uh, about your mom and dad, I take it they were both Catholic. My mother and father, both born in Malta, and uh, we came to America in 1949, and then they retired in uh, 75, went to Malta. My mother died in Malta, and then I went to Malta. What year did your mom pass away? Uh, she was uh, 87. She was 87. 87. And your dad was and how old? 95 when he passed away. So they're both buried in Malta. We took his ashes over there and buried him over there. So, so um, when you pass away, are you going to go to Malta to be with well, you? I, you're, have, I have two children in California, so I'm assuming that they don't want me to go to Malta. They want me buried over there. But I'm a veteran. I'm a disabled veteran, Vietnam veteran, so I, I could be buried anywhere, really. Oh. And uh, have you always been close to God? Always, always. We're taught uh, as children, you know, we kind of rely on his, uh, his security and his uh, ability to protect us, you know. So, yeah, I've been a Christian all my life. So if basically if you were to meet a person that was a complete atheist that didn't believe in God, uh, and uh, what would you say to that atheist to try to help uh, see to it that... Uh, that there is life after death and that there is a loving God and a forgiving God. Is there, is there any words well, of wisdom that you can give to a person? I, I don't see atheists as being bad people. I see atheists as uh, being individuals. And I do believe that they do believe themselves that something will happen after they die. You know, we believe that three days after you die, your soul leaves and wherever it's going. I also believe that uh, hell is on earth. It's not up there or down there. We're going through hell as we live in. You make our life the way we want it, and then when we die, that's how we're gonna live. But uh, I don't believe in hell. I really don't. I think hell is here, you know, and how you live your life is up to you. And I will say, uh, uh, what's your first name again? Alfred. Alfred, I will say, one thing that's really good, though, is that you're able to express your opinion freely and openly, and I really appreciate that. Of course. And uh, myself, personally, uh, I believe that there's a God, and I believe in Jesus. Oh, I, be I believe in heaven. I believe that, and too. But that, I, I, I do believe there is perhaps a heaven, but it's how you live your life has a lot to do with uh, how you're going to end up, where you're going to end up, yeah. you know. But... I, but, but uh, I will say, you know, you gave your opinion. My perception of life is I, I do believe, uh, sadly and unfortunate, that there is a hell in the afterlife if a person like was like really, really bad and, you know, on this planet. But anyway, I mean, it's all a matter if, of opinions. If you believe that, you have to believe that there are so many people out there that 
doesn't deserve to be alive. They kill people, they molest children, and then people are alive. Yet, you know, little kids, people that are good die, you know, so mm -hmm. I, I, where is the fairness? I'm, I'm kind of uh, uh, skeptic about stuff like that, you know. Well, I, see, I have a, uh, my opinion, maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not saying I'm right, but I think that people are held accountable for all the bad things they did in the, in the afterlife. It's unfortunate uh, we're all given a, a brain and we all think different. So, But I will know. say one thing, what we do have in common though is the fact that we both believe in God and we both of believe course. in Jesus. Of course, of course. Well, Alfred, it's been a pleasure meeting Same you. Here. God Same bless here. you. Same you take care and, of and, and you're doing a beautiful job here, Thank and you. at least you're in a nice, peaceful atmosphere. It is. And I'm sure that when you were in, uh, being a Vietnam veteran, I'm, I'm sure that there were some things that, you know, you may have seen that were... Uh, and done. Oh, that were very difficult. Uh, very difficult. It and took and, a while before... Uh, you forget what you went through. And a lot of people suffer from just the uh, trauma of, of course, all the of different course. events. It took a year, almost a year in Walter Reed Hostel treatments before mm. uh, came down to earth. Yeah. Well, all I can say is thank you for serving your country honorably. And uh, I just uh, know that you're at least in a very nice, peaceful place. And I'm glad that you made it home alive from oh, Vietnam, peace. because a lot of a lot of our soldiers uh, did not make it home. That's right. I'm and in one piece. You thank God for uh, being able to walk, see, run, hear, talking to you. That's the basic thing of life: is uh, being able to do every morning. You know, you be, gotta be thankful for that. And I believe that uh, when when it's your time to pass away. Your mom and dad, who've both passed away, will be there uh, to help uh, take you by the hand.